or one of our GCAD Plus users is having some difficulty controlling the line weights in this design. Well, if he's inadvertently clicked on the LWT line weight switch in the status line and got the result that you see here with some very thick lines running through the drawing. In contrast to that, if I zoom extents now and zoom in on an earlier design that he was working with, can see even though line weight is on, there is no difficulty whatsoever with line weights. So if we center our view, it's the design on the left with messy line weights and the one on the right where line weights appear to be working as they should. Well, of course, the quick resolution of the problem is to turn the line weight switch off and the problem goes away. But let's deal with it properly. And let's focus our attention first on these labels. If we look at this label through here, which is being drawn with a very thick line, notice that the line weight of that entity, that line entity, has been set implicitly at 0.5 of a millimetre. We need to turn that back to by layer. And now we should be able to use modify and match properties and just match the properties of that to the various markers that are there. And then if we, this is option two, and if we go back into layout option two, can you now see that even though the line weight switches on, those lines are being drawn as they should. Well, we take the opportunity of returning the line weights in the title block back to a more sensible value. So I'll select all of those and just say line weight is now default. But can you see that's that's actually in a block? So I can't change them unless I edit that block. So what I'll do is explode. No, I won't. I'll go straight into edit the block wrap a box around everything and put line weight back to by layer and then close the block editor. So now we've got the title block working in a, in a smoother way. We don't have the logo present so the logo is not filling that small box. Well our designer now wants to indicate with some emphasis the pool and what he has done is set the thickness at 1.2, which indeed is a very thick pen, 1.2 millimeter on, in this case, I think it's an A3 sheet, would produce a very thick line. But the way to deal with that, if you want a thick line, there are two alternatives. Let's choose the first. So we'll join the lines there and they take on the original properties. I would be inclined to bring that back to 0.5 of a millimeter, which is one of the heaviest pens that I would use. And then the outer zone of the pool, uh, you might want to give that, that's also a poly line, and you might also want to apply a thickness to that, maybe of uh, 0.4. So now we've got a thicker line where the pool is. So let's have a look. It's option two, and there we are. As we zoom in, we've got a and if you compare the thickness of the lines there, there's the line on the garden bed edging, and here's the line there. That actually doesn't appear to be a, a vertical line, so there's a little glitch there, uh, and here's the slightly thicker one. So let me come back to the model. So I hope you can see that you can control line thickness just by setting the thickness of the lines according to what you want. There is a disadvantage with this system though, and that is if you want to present the drawing on different size sheets, you've then got to adjust things. And there's a much simpler way of working, and that is to put the properties of all of these elements that we're working here, where we're trying to control line thickness. I'll take out the text and make the property, the line weight by layer. So they're all being controlled by layer and I'll put them onto a layer called pool and we'll unselect all. Can you see we still have thick lines? And the reason for that is we have a 0.5 millimeter pen associated with the pool. Of course, 
the approach that we've got here for line type works also with color. Color is being set by layer, so I could simply go over to the pool layer and set color to like so. And then we could change the properties of the polyline and make it filled. Now it's very obvious where the pool is located. Well, I mentioned that controlling line weight by layer gives you some distinct advantages, especially when you're trying to print on different size sheets. If we go into option two, which if I look in the layouts manager is on an A3 sheet, you can see we've got our heavy lines and our lightweight lines, which is what our user is after. But if we need to go into say an A2 sheet, a larger sheet, let me just check the layouts manager here. Yeah, that's an A2 sheet. So we've gone up a size and you might argue that there's not enough definition in that line around the pool. So you can fix that very quickly. This would work much better if you happen to be on an A1 sheet, but you could just thicken up that 0.5 and let's change it to a 0.7 pin and we'll OK it. And you may just have seen the line thickening up. So as you move from say an A4 sheet to an A1 sheet, you've just got a quick, easy change to the line weight of the layer. So I hope that helps this particular user and potentially others manage line weights in your designs.